Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are here in South Goa and I'm going to be showing you guys an incredible hidden gem which is called the Goan Kitchen. They serve authentic Goan snacks. These are Goan and Portuguese snacks that are, you know, absolutely incredible. I've been ordering from them for over a year and every time it has exceeded my expectations they have veg and non-veg options also this is being run by a gentleman called oliver who is recreating the goan food scene here i'm going to be showing you guys another of his restaurants soon but this place is absolutely incredible so let's go and check out the cafe i'm going to show you guys absolutely everything that is available here and also we are going to finally try out this delicious snacks and show you guys everything possible that's here and how beautiful it is so let's go and check it out okay guys so time to show you guys the restaurant so this is the old hospicio hospital here in margao city and just from there you can come to this place here which is the goan kitchen it's a small little cafe here on the edge of the building but the flavors that we are going to experience today is something else uh, the place is very very beautiful so just to show you the outside this is the outside area here this is a uh, area where you can sit you can eat here as well and here we have the traditional goan grinding stone which we grind the masalas and the things like that here and of course we have a lady beautiful painting here so okay first of all we are going to say hi to edwin here edwin is the main manager here yeah so hi edwin okay so this is basically the goodness of goa here uh, i'm going to go and show you guys each one by one but of course yeah we're going to eat it all later as i mentioned but let me just show you the things that they have here so there is for veg options as well as non-veg options for everybody and they have a lot of things here so we are just going to go all around here i'm going to show you the things that are there on this side as well as what is there here so let me explain what they have here first of all so here if you see the prices are also very very economical so the prices start off from 15 rupees and go up to 30 rupees right yeah so okay so over here you have corn and spinach research so usually if you come to goa there is the prawn one which is this one which is 30 rupees each but yeah so they have the corn and spinach this 25 they have the chicken pan rolls they have potato samosas they have the prawn dangar here uh, they have the prawn empanadas here as well as chicken pies fish croquets we're going to try them all out but just for you guys to see it again the prices are like 20 rupees here so they have rum balls they have uh ha, ha, casusino yeah, yeah? What, what is it ex exactly cocoa powder is there oh casual paste oh wow so if you see there that these are actual casual seeds that are here they also have what is bibinka, bibinka right uh, so bibinka the, my mother loves the bibinka from here this is one of the best bibinkas you can get uh, this is a local this is this is another local goan sweet which is made out of coconut and tender sugar coconut. tender coconut okay this is tender coconut then they have the chicken rolls and what what else is there what is this that's plum cake plum cake okay so they have plum cake they have so he said this was used to be served in olden days weddings this is like a forgotten uh, thing so the owner of this place as i mentioned he recreates all the old you know local dishes so this is atoll is this 15 rupees yes sir this is only 15 rupees yes, sir. okay so this is 15 rupees and look at the size of this so what is this actually made out of it's made of uh, jaggery jaggery and, and dal, dal. And broken wheat is there. wow broken wheat wow so this is like an old traditional yeah, dish dessert. that yeah, dessert we, yeah we keep on every day like keep on changing the dessert and okay all. and we have a rice bread also like rice bread pan pode. okay wow so, so this is called pan pole. pan pole yeah so this is a rice bread 
uh, I'm not going to touch it here, but what we are going to do is we'll take one of these and I'll show you when I'm eating it. So this is a local rice bread. You see there are uh, quite a few inside. Let me so, keep on changing like this. We so, have like today we have pan pade. Okay. Next day we will have pade like koilodeo. Okay. So you know the pronunciation, the way he's saying it is so good <laughs> because I can't pronounce it. These are the real local way of pronouncing it so anytime you come here meet Edwin and he'll actually tell you guys what each dish is and what it means so they have dodol here which is also another goan uh, traditional sweet uh, it's 60 rupees here they have tender coconut pudding which is of course one of my favorite things in the world so they have seradura fruit jelly cream caramel which is my wife Sharon's favorite there's chocolate uh, salami here and now let's get to the good stuff so they actually have like proper traditional goan food here as well so if you don't want to just have some snacks you also want to try out some proper goan food what is this ukde rice which is okay so i'll just come around and let's just see the boiled rice so this is the local goan boiled rice this dry prawn curry. Dry prawn curry. This is the tamde baji. Tamde baji. We, we, we buy this from the local ladies okay. around uh, Margaon, like okay. which they prepare, which they free yeah. and all. Okay. So this is all bought from local uh, ladies from the farm. So we are always, you know, trying to support local here. So prawn mole, prawn balcha. So th these are like pickles, right? It's like yeah, a pickle. Pizza, yeah. yeah. So th pickle. these are non-veg pickles. These are made out of fish. These are parra, which is bombil parra. Yeah, you there is. You have to fry it for five minutes, like. Okay, so you have to fry that. Okay, so These you. Veg pickles. Wow, so they have mango. How much are the prices of these? These are four hundred rupees. So these are four hundred rupees for this. Uh, but guys, I'm sure the flavor is going to be amazing because everything from here is always so good. As I mentioned, like I always order from them and the stuff that you get is incredible. So these are like all the, all pickles, the veg pickles, veg pickles. The prices are different or yeah, all the same? All the same. This, oh, is, 180, this, this is, is 180. These are 200 rupees. 200. These all are 200 rupees. Okay, so these are all so 200. It starts, okay, this one is starting from 180 and then the rest are 200. These are the yeah. Oh, they have masalas. Wow. So here we have reshado masala, which is one of my favorites. If you see my... Uh, videos you always know that I like to have Rashad masala so you can put this in your this fish is this is 220 so this if you want to put it in your fish uh, or chicken or anything you can just put, put this and you can cook it so the uh, ingredients are here okay Rashad green Rashad masala Vindalo masala yeah so also oh chicken kafriyal masala so this if you know the chicken kafriyal is like one of the best dishes that you can have and you can just you know take this put the masala into your chicken or and you cook it up it's going to be absolutely amazing these are all made homemade stuff then we have the other goodies here which are the traditional goan sweets this is called pinag yeah which is a local goan sweet which is from the portuguese times it used to be there maybe probably even before that it is 150 rupees here uh they have perad which is this guava right yeah. it's like guava cheese it tastes like cheese and basically but it's made out of guava it's very very tasty this 200 they have butter cookies they have bolinas so bolinas are absolutely delicious oh i, I just threw it down my my bad my bad okay uh so yeah over here you have bolinas which is this chewy 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 texture and yeah so so many different things over here that you have uh which you can try so yeah are fast selling out. yeah so this goes very fast this bolina spinach and all okay so these are like your top sellers yeah, over top here seller. okay gram dosh also is your top okay seller. oh this is wow this is made out of grams gram flour basically this is dose okay this is 140 again something which is very nice this is very chewy sweet deliciousness uh these are like traditional goan sweets you will not get them in other states and yeah of course some of the things are very similar to things that you would get in other states but these are absolutely amazing what is this called these are called angel wings oh, 120 so angel wings these are chakli's 
Chuckley's, of course, you've probably seen Chuckley's in other places, but yeah, this is 50 rupees. And we have Chudas also. Chudas. What is this? Rose cookies. Rose cookies. What? Rose? Rose cookies. Rose cookies. What? What is actually? It's sweet or yes, it's, it's sweet. sweet and crispy at the yeah. same time. Okay. So now it's the best time of the video, which is to go up and try out all this deliciousness. We are going to try out all the little different things, and I'm going to tell you the flavors and everything, guys. So we are going to go up. So I'm going to. Also oh yes, I forgot. Come. Let's we have show. Onshata, uh, almond drink like. Okay. And we have Shar of the Brindau, okay. the cucumber drink. Okay. So, so Arshada is the almost forgotten dish. Okay. So, th we, there they, they are. Like. Okay. Now, nobody does that. Or we don't get it. It's almost forgotten beverages like Arshada. Okay. So, it's made out of almond. How much is it? Uh, glass is 90 rupees. 90 rupees for Shata and. To take away, it's 500, rupees. 500 is for a full bottle. Okay, so it's made out of almond. So we are going to try both of those also, and then I'm going to tell you guys what it is. It's as they mentioned, it's like a forgotten drink. It used to be like a traditional drink, but you know, the best part is the owner of this place is like recreating all the old dishes which were lost in history here. So, yeah, let's get those and we're going to try out all these different different things and show you guys okay guys so this is the seating area on top where we're going to be sitting and eating so we have some of our viewers as well here so you want to say hi <laughs> so they are from assam they also saw uh, this place from my previous video so anyway enjoy guys so this is the seating area here this is daddu the great who is who drives my car and he's my <laughs> hero here so okay so we are going to sit at this beautiful table here it's very rustic very beautiful and we are going to try out all the different snacks if you see here they have these traditional goan uh, tiles which are here this was like the portuguese tiles uh, also they have like over there so the rusticness is very nice so if you see here you'll get some beautiful photos in this corner so anyway let's get the snacks and try out the snacks now guys okay guys so time to finally try out all these dishes we've showed you guys everything down now we are going to check, try out everything here so we have the big man here who's going to explain to us absolutely everything what is on the plate so what are the different names that are here so so this is chicken roll chicken roll prawn empadina prawn empadina prawn danga prawn danga chicken pan roll chicken pan roll corn and spinach resoys corn and Okay. Yeah, this is fish croquet. Fish croquet. This is a prawn resource. Prawn resource, my and favorite. This is a chicken pie. Chicken pie. Okay. So, and these are. The dosta got, damas. Dosta damas. And. and kazuzino. Kazuzino. And this is a dodol. This is dodol, which is the local sweet. So, let's try them all out. Yeah, thank you so much. Okay, so let's try it out now, guys. So, first of all, let's try it out from the. This is my favorite thing in the world, which is. Resoys. This is the prawn one. So let me just open it up. I, you know, I want to just put it in my mouth. My mouth is watering. But just to put it in, show you guys what it is inside. So it has this nice prawn filling inside. So this is not the pasty ones which you usually get, which looks like a, you know, like a smashed prawns. This has nice pieces in it. Mm. So so good. So it has like an onion jam kind of flavor in it. With the prawns, it is so nice and soft. Uh, I don't know how to explain it, but it tastes like oh, it's so good. It's like chewy, chewy flavor. It just melts in your mouth. It literally melts in your mouth. It's so good. Okay, so that's the prawn one. I've never tried the veg option before. This is the veg option, which is the spinach and corn option oh this is like the spinach and corn uh, sandwiches that you get so let's try this out this looks good so for a veg option this is very nice oh that is so unique i would have never thought to put uh, spinach and corn in a, a research before but that is so good okay let's try out the next thing over here which is the chicken chicken pie right yeah so this is the chicken pie so look at that guys look at that looks absolutely delicious let's break this up and break it up in my mouth mm. 
Oh wow. So if you guys have tasted Goan sausages, it kind of has that Goan sausage kind of flavor, but it's chicken. This is not pork, but oh, so 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 good. And the outside is so the is like a shoe pastry. It's so crispy, so full of flavor, and the it's nice and flaky. It's not that you know chewy, but it's that it has a nice crispness to it, which adds a lot of you know flavor to it. This is the pan roll now. I have to bake it for you guys. You know, I just feel like putting it in my mouth. But look at that texture, guys! It's so soft, chewy looking. It looks like almost looks like an egg. Like you know, it looks like actually looks like an egg inside, but it is so nice. It's chicken and and cheese inside. So oh, so good. You know, I have to take it in. And explain it to you guys at the same time. Oh man, it's so good. You notice I'm not eating everything because I have to give Dadu some. So half is for Dadu. So he's behind the camera right now. <laughs> the next thing that we have here is the prawn dangar, which is basically a prawn cutlet. So let me just show you inside. So it has some vegetable kind of stuffing as well, but. Yeah, I hope it's not spicy. I don't think there's any chilies inside. No, there's no chilies inside. So looks good. Hmm. Very, very, very unique. I don't know how to explain it. It's very unique. It's, it's kind of. It has a hit of spice. It has. Uh, I don't know. It has a. It it tastes like a between of a potato chop and. But it's not like a potato chop. It has that. It's more of the spice that gets you, so it, it's very nice. But yeah, so I, I'm still trying to, you know, tell you the flavors. But the spice gives you that nice intense kick, and I can feel it at the back of my head. My taste buds are watering right now, and that is something that makes you want to go and have another bite of it. But it's so good. But of course, we have to try the next one. So let's try this one. Which is what is this called? I forgot. Prawn empanada. Oh, prawn. So we still have him here. So this is the prawn empanadas here. Hmm. Oh, look at that. So if you see this, it has like this prawn filling here. It's like a jam almost of prawns. It has onion prawns. The crispy shoe pastry outside. I don't know if it's shoe pastry, but it has like that nice. The pastry is so soft that it breaks it in your mouth like a biscuit, and just gives that flavor of the crispiness of the edges as well as the biscuit kind of texture. Absolutely amazing. So then we have, of course, the chicken roll here. Of course, chicken roll is a normal thing, but let's try it out. Small bite. Oh. That's good. The chicken roll is probably like like something you have tried before. It's a normal chicken roll. Okay. Now coming to the specialities, guys. Get some tissue here. Right, my hands. Yeah. Now let's come to the drinks here. I have never tried this in my life. This is the first time I'm trying it out here. So we are experiencing this together. So it is called the Oshata. Oshata. Osh Oshata. So it's made out of almonds. So let's taste it. Uh, oh my! Oh, guys, I don't know how to explain it at all. It does not taste like your regular almond milk. It's very sweet. Uh, but yeah, it is something which is too unique to explain. But you'll probably have to come here and try it out yourself. It's very very refreshing. So we have the manager here. He's saying it's refreshing, but yeah, it's absolutely refreshing. So so good. This is something which is great for summers. This is made out of kokum juice, right? So kokum, what is it called? Kokum. 
spoke about Sharab Brindavan. Okay, Sharab the Brindavan. I, I cannot pronounce it. So, <laughs> Sharab the something something. <laughs> okay, so cheers, guys. Let's try this out. Oh, it has soda in it. Is it soda yeah, or soda. Yeah, soda? You can dilute it soda and water. Okay, soda. So, it's not really like you know that soda, soda hit, but I was surprised because usually you would have it with water. And the good part about this is if it's a hot day, this is very cooling. It completely resets your system. So, this is great for a hot summer day here in Goa. Ah, beautiful. So, both of these drinks, absolutely beautiful. You have to try it out. Now, coming to my favorite thing in the world, which is sweets. So, let's try out the unique sweet here. It has like a caramel sugar coating on top, but let's try it out. This is the first time I'm trying this out as well. Oh, you instantly get that caramel hit, but the inside is just like this soft, very soft, soft texture. I don't think it has a lot of character of its own, but it has like a soft, chewy texture. But if you have it on its own, probably it has its own flavor. But for me, the caramel kind of overpowers it. So when you take a bigger bite, then you get the flavor of that. So it's very, it's sweet. Uh, it has a texture almost like a broken biscuit. So if you had broken biscuit powder, kind of, but not the Mari biscuit or those kind of biscuits, it's like a sweet flavor. Ah, that's it. So he said it's cashew. So it is actually cashew, yeah. So that's what I was trying to find out the flavor. So it has like that cashew kind of flavor. Ah, here we got the cashew, which actually looks like a cashew, but we've never had a black cashew like this before. <laughs> but this is like a chocolate cashew. Let's break it apart. Take a small piece. I don't want too much of chocolate early morning. So this has a cashew piece here. This is made out of cashew. Very nice, soft, chewy dough. Oh man. The chewiness is nice. It's like eating chewing gum, but with cashew flavor. The cashew and chocolate flavor. Oh, so good, so good. Now, time to get so that is like a chocolate and cashew flavor very intense and the chewiness is so nice it's very refreshing ah let's try out the favorite thing of my mother my mom loves the dodol from here dodol right so let's try out a small piece from here so this is the see this texture here it has this nice glossy texture to it. If you ever come to Goa and don't try Dodol, I don't know what you're doing here. You have to try it. This is a local dish. This is great for taking and giving gifts to people. Oh, that is so good. You know, the moment I put Dodol in my mouth, my childhood flashes in front of me. Like it brings me back to when my grandmother used to bring Dodol, you know, from a hot summer weekend. She would come on Fridays and bring Dodal for us and oh man, it brings my childhood back to my eyes. So yeah guys, the food was absolutely amazing. I made an absolute mess here, but yeah, this is an incredible place. I put the uh, details of the address and everything in the description below. Thank you for watching. Please do like and subscribe and I'll be bringing you guys lots of other videos from here in Goa.